Hello, people. Greetings from Juliam's Gist. Information reaching Juliam's Gist headquarter right now is that hmm, that our country, Niger, don't for forgot uh, Jaga Jaga. What is happening? My people, how could the government come up with this kind of a story? Should I call it a propaganda or what? I don't even know what to make of it. They came out to tell us that the people who attacked the Catholic Church in Owo, that is these people, make could not see the picture of my people. These same people that they are telling us, all of them are from Kogi. And now they are now saying that one of them has been identified as one of the prisoners who escaped from Kuje prison. My people, una they see story, una they hear what in my ear they hear. This my country, Niger, not when these people no go feed do. That is why when Unam the Kanu they shout say no be Buhari dead here. I think say na lie say Unam the no no waiting in the talk oh. If they can do this one koro koro, what else can't they do? Or rather, what else have they been doing? Why are you covering up the people who attacked our church? What is your grievances with Kongi state people? You don't bring Fulani Esme to destroy that state. So that one never do. You have to tarnish their image like this. You bring, you brought out these names, all of them. What has Kongi got to do with Ondo State? Why are you people hiding what really happened at Owo? Why is nobody talking about it? Why is the masses not even shouting about it? We kept on shouting about baby testimony, baby testimony, baby testimony. This one that happened on at all, baby testimony is just one person, though. That the mother will give you this story today, to she will give you another story tomorrow. Jeremiah will give you this story today, Jeremiah will give you this story tomorrow. But our own is a lot of people and a lot of children. Make we say, okay, baby testimony because in a baby, our own still carry children. Why are they sweeping? I so what is special about this baby testimony case that anybody that comes close to it gets burnt? It not get hurt since 2019. It not end, it not finish. No results. Rather, the mama tell us say she's not living like a celebrity. She don't come out for her state. At the end of the day, it ended her marriage. She goes to for another state. What is she doing there? We don't know. Baby testimony, we not see. Different theories every day. Different propaganda every day. Every day, everybody, they enter. The same energy when we they use for this baby's testimony. Why don't we also put that same energy in this or war incident? It happened or war, it can happen anyway. Oh, well, it's supposed to be a very peaceful town. So what is going on? Why are they dying this case? Why this case no fit come up? It was shocking. When it happened, everybody screamed. And immediately the thing went down the drain because they came out with this propaganda theory. They said they don't catch two people. Uh, they catch one person. This, do that. And the person no even look like Fulani. Different theories, more than they say it has to do with markets that the prince should come and, and tell us how come the prince was not among the people who lost their life that day. Say they purposely came out for the prince. We came, they came out with another theory again now that these guys, these pictures that they are showing us that they are the ones responsible. I mean, why these people now somebody don't identify them as one of the people that escaped from Kuji prison when. This incident happened at Owo. Kuje prison was still intact. These prisoners were still in Kuje prison. I bet they want to tell us, say they operate, finish. They're from Kuje prison, go operate for war. Then still come back, enter the prison. Before, finally, weeks later, before they come break out. Is that, that is the only, only thing that will make sense to me. They should come and tell me that how that one take possible. Say, so those people went there for prison, they come and come, commit havoc outside my people you see say that country don't turn to something else it's not what the media gives us that is happening no 
A lot of things will be happening. They will come and give you something else in social media. And we now, we will just run with that narrative and we'll be shouting baby testimony. They tell you one thing behind something else is going on. Did we know that money was exchanging hand behind the scene? Did we know that? We didn't know. That is why anybody that gets close to the case get burnt. Because you, you go just carry your innocent head, go there, not knowing that something else. They go there, when you go there, they go, they go, they go, that guy, you cut your head, come out. Then you run away. Anybody that gets close to the case, get burnt. So this our case, make we use our energy, begin to talk about it every now and then. Let's begin to create awareness. What really happened at all? Why did it happen? Why that particular church? Why that on that particular day? Why was any of the priests not among the people that lost their life? How come the priests, the priest, the Catholic father were able to save their life and the members couldn't? And now they are telling us because they asked, there was another father that was visiting that parish that these people asked for that father. Why was that father at that parish at that particular incident day? And why were the people asking for the father? Nobody is asking this question. Nobody is saying anything. This incident has just been swept under the carpet. Something, something, something big is behind this our incident. And people are really trying very, very hard to cover it. For them to come up with this narrative, I am afraid. I wept for my country. Oh, Nigeria, I wept for you. We don't know what is going on anymore. A lot is happening in that country. You see, media in Nigeria, they come out and give you cock and bull stories. And we will run with those fake narratives. That is why Donald Trump say fake news everywhere. Fake news everywhere. Our people, make now wake up, oh, our war. Please wake up and find out what happened to your sons to your daughters to your husbands to your wives to your children what really happened at all on that fateful day please don't sleep on this a lot is going on in that country when they do finish they go say na fulani we not say fulani no they do all but we ourselves they do look at benga story oh. She be don't come out now that it is the brother. May why they don't they call and fool and me. So a lot is going on. We ourselves, we are the devils. Now we the we she ourselves. Please, I beg every one of you share this video. This is our incident. We should not let it slide. Nothing say our oh, far. You know far. It is your backyard. Now one country. Now one Nigeria your backyard here you don't know where they might hit next but if we are able to drag them for this one they might not try it again but if you let it slide they sweep it under the carpet <laughs> it might be your backyard tomorrow okay guys make i drop them for here thank you everyone if you are still here listening to my voice i really appreciate you and i thank you and i think this is the right time to subscribe to my channel if you have not done that and if you have done that you are the best mm -hmm.